new with Blackboard's Service Pack 13 is a tiny little aspect that some faculty are going to love to death. Okay, Test access logs. The question's always been, how do I know what my student is doing while they're taking a test? In terms of, are they racing through the questions and then waiting until the very end of the time limit to hit submit? Are they spending five minutes on one question and then never more than 30 seconds on the rest? What's going on? Well, to give you a, a look at how the uh, Blackboard system has made that information available to instructors, I set up a couple of different tests and went in with a student account and made several test attempts. I actually made three on this test and one on that. So let's hop into the Grade Center and see how that looks. First of all, the second attempt there, there was, or the second test, there was only one attempt on, whereas the first one there were three different attempts. And let's hop to the Grade Details for that one. You can see the three attempts and take a look at the oldest of them great attempt and in the test information area uh, something new in Service Pack 13 is you now have this button that says access log. Click that and it's going to show you a summary of information about the student's activity during the test. Okay, So I know obviously at zero seconds into the effort the test started seven seconds later there was an answer on question one and for the next 25 seconds there were two different saves on question two, uh, or more than two um, multiples, they just say, they won't tell you exactly how many. Uh, and then question three, this is the time into the session that question three's answer got saved. And then the submission is at that same moment because this was a one question at a time test, so rather than having another page to move to, it was just submitting the results. So in this case, I started the test, answered one, answered two a couple of times, answered three, and that was the end of the test. Okay, As opposed to a slightly, <laughs> well, I started horsing around with later attempts, and the access log for my third attempt is a little bit different. Again, it's a one at a time question type. Started the test, answered question one, two, three, went back to two, and you notice the time jump here. I answered question three initially 14 seconds in, didn't re-answer question two until three minutes and two seconds in, which actually meant, meant that it was an auto-submit because I set a three minute time limit on this test. Okay, So in this case, what I really did was answer one, two, three, went back to two, made some change to it, but it was only picked up at the auto-submit at the end of the session. Okay, So depending upon how your students actually are taking their tests, you're going to see some very different access logs, and it's not going to be necessarily crystal clear how you should interpret them. So uh, my first suggestion is, when in doubt, <laughs> maybe uh, take the log information that you have and talk with one of us techs. Uh, for example, here in this case, it was a one-question test, and all at once, not that it mattered with only one question, test started, here's when I answered it, and then I submitted it, but it's telling me that there were multiple changes to that question. Okay, so that's going to be one of the things to look for as you're trying to interpret these logs. Is it that your students spent a lot of time before they answered once, or is it that they spent time on the question and answered it one way and then changed their answer? Um, it might be useful information for you. It might not. The only way to find out is to just take a look at the access logs in test attempts in Blackboard.